Here, keep an eye on your goods. I know thieving little hands when I see them. Cheers, mate. Oi! I'm just looking. Old habits. Old legs, you mean? How you doing? <laughs> Not so bad. Nice to be out. Do right. How's Candice? She's good. You got time for a quick drink? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Cheers. If you want to come in on a deal, maybe a couple of deals, there's some interesting things happening. I don't know. I'm sort of keeping the options open for the moment. Are you talking a couple of grand? Yeah, but like I said, I don't really... So maybe you could put the word around. I mean, you got the contacts, right? Look, I'm trying to stay out of that for the moment. What's this? You gone clean? Look, I've got a lot of funds tied up at the moment. But if I get this deal... And I said, I can't help. Dennis. There is something you can do. You can't say he doesn't owe us. And we're not talking a couple of grand here, we're talking what, maybe 20? You're talking about hassling him. I don't think that's such a good idea. You always got on with him. Well, I won't if I hassle him. Look, I'm done with all that. You knock on his door, you never get rid of him. You helped him. We both did. And he hung us out to dry. Now he owes us. And somebody should tell him. It was good seeing you. <laughs> Mate, I'm just talking about what's right. I know you are, man. But I'm sorry I can't help. I just need to see you today, please. Yeah, I'm just getting on the train now. Yeah, I'll see you as soon as I can. I thought I'd have a quick bye. What's going on, Sam? This is my last chance. You mean I was? Candy, she, uh... She ran up a few debts when I was on the inside. We got caught here and coming up. Sorry. We're living in this bed sit. All of us, the kids. One of them's ill, she's got bronchitis. Choking all the time. Candy's going up the wall. You want a decent lunch? No. Thanks for the thought, yeah? Tony. I think of something. Did you get hold of him then? Well, give us a chance. We'll never work on an empty stomach. You haven't changed your mind, have you? Once we start this ball rolling, there's no turning back. You know that, don't you? I've not got much choice, have I? It'll be fine. You was blue-eyed boy, remember? I was once. Here. Get yourself a drink or something. I've got a call to make. Get you later, right? Yeah. Sorry, mate, I couldn't get through. But you left a message, didn't you? I don't want him knowing my number, do I? Oh, why can't I just try him again? Wait a minute, what's the big rush? I need that cash. What's going on, Tony? I've had the bailiffs round, all right? I had to take a loan out to get him off my back. And now you've got some thieving loan shark to get shot off instead, right? Not Carney. I had no choice. Oh, Tony, what have you done? Please, then. Please, you've got to help me. Next time they said it gets serious. Leave it with me, all right? Andy, it's good to see you, mate. It's been a while. It's down to Her Majesty, not me. The boss has got the amp. He thought you'd be in touch when you got out. Not too soon after, though, eh? Some bright spark might put two and two together. Yeah, but... Not even a postcard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he really appreciates what you and Tony done for him, you know? Yeah? How much? So what do you want with 20 grand? It ain't for me. It's for Tony. Oh, you're doing his dirty work for him now, are you? You know what the boss thinks of our time? He wouldn't stand a chance if he went in there alone. Never had you down as some sort of guardian angel. Look, we served the time, we kept our mouths shut. The boss said he'd see us all right. I'm asking him to honour his word. I'll pass the message on. I'd appreciate it. Don't hold your breath, though, will you? Who's that? It's a 
a mate of mine. He says he knows where my kids go to school. But don't pull up, he's going to be waiting outside Relax, the front Tony, gate. OK? Just chill a bit. We'll get you some breakfast. What happened to your friend? Oh, he walked into a lamp post. Can I have a full English for him and uh, get us a cup of tea, please, Pat? Who are you The boss, of course. I can't let you go around there. You want your money, don't you? Yeah, but that's so the boss ain't going to give it to me. So go around and ask for it. He'll kill you. Never. Look, do you want me to come with you? The way the boss feels about you? Do you really think that's such a good idea? No, I'll let you know how I get on. I don't know what to do with that, you man. You're a good friend, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. I'll make this up to you. I promise. I haven't got the money yet, have I? But why don't you go home? I'll give you a call. Go home. Excuse me. Why don't I just tell him you called? I'll wait. Ah, how is it now? Painful. Aspirin? Please. Dennis. It's been a long time. How are you doing? Yeah, okay. Ever had a root filling? No. Don't. Come on in. It's good to see you again. I spoke to Andy last week. He said, yeah. Something about some money. Twenty grand. A significant amount. Peanuts to you. Injections wearing off. You owe it to me and Tony. That little worm. When we went down for doing that bloke, we never mentioned your name. Neither of us did. So? You want me to buy your silence? Loyalty comes with a price tag these days. Of course you kept quiet, Dennis. It's the nature of the job. We're friends. We stick together. Money doesn't come into it. Twenty grand. Okay. I've got some jobs. Going down, you'll make your money. I'll have you back in the family. Everyone's happy. No. Don't be hasty. I've moved on, Jack. Fair enough. I've made the offer. You've turned me down. You said you'd always look after us. I look after all my boys. I need that money. You were never like this before. I was never inside before. I don't think you've been listening! It's you that ain't been listening. Now, I've kept this zipped so far. 20 grand keeps it zipped. It's still early. Yeah? Tell that to the loan shark who just rang me. Look, I don't mean to put more pressure on you, mate, but I really need that money. I said I'd get it for you, and I will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know, if I had any other options, if I could have gone to anyone else... I know. It's okay. It's my family. I don't, I don't know what else to do. If anything happens to it me... It won't. Look, I'll have the cash for you later, I promise. Listen, you be careful, yeah? If it gets heavy, you just leg it. If he wasn't going to give me the money, he'd let me know by now. And I'd be floating face down in the Thames. He's not going to like parting with 20 grand. But he's got no other option, is he? Okay. Thanks for this. No problem. I'll catch you later. Right. Have you decided yet? About our Dennis? 20 grand's a lot of money. It is, Jack. And I don't like being told what to do. Yeah, it's sorted. Let's arrange a time for the handover. No, 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 I can't make that. It's got to be this evening. Hey, look, your choice. Take it or leave it. Uh-huh. Fine. Well, 
What about that uh, cap on Bridge Street? Yeah, see you there. Gotcha! No, you don't do that. I thought you were... What? One of Dawn's boys come to get you? Chill out. It's all sorted. You've heard from him? Yeah, and he's bringing the money over this evening. Straight up? Take it from me, it's all over by the drinking. Oh, that is great news, man. I'm going to call Cambys. Starting to think you won't come in. Got caught in traffic. There you go. This don't feel like 20 grand. Yeah, try dividing it by 10. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Consider yourself lucky you're even getting that. Oh, <laughs> you won't ever go here. Come on, let's take a walk. I ain't standing for this. Now listen to me. Stop pushing your luck. I told Dalton what I wanted and what I'd do if I didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, that whole threat scenario. Not a good idea. Where is he in his office? He's a busy man. I wouldn't go disturbing him. Thanks for the advice. You can stick it in the same place as this. And that's your final word, is it? My final word? I ain't even started yet. I'm sorry you feel like that, Dennis. Now you're gonna have to learn the hard way. See you back in the car. Did you really expect me to accept this? Dennis, what a pleasant surprise. I took the fall for you. No, 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 you got caught, which is something very different. I don't reward people for making mistakes. You wouldn't like prison. No big desk to sit behind, no tailored suit. Your point. My point, Jack! is what price you put on your freedom, because two grand buys you nothing! Now you listen, you go to the police. It'll be the last thing you do. I've got nothing to lose. You? Well. I want 20 grand. Jack. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know how he managed to get away from us. You want to send a couple of the lads after him? Silly, Dennis. Where you been? Been trying to get hold of you all night. Oh no. Don't worry about it. What happened? Come in. So where is it? I haven't got it. What do you mean you haven't got it? Dalton threw me two grand last night, I threw it back. You did what? I told him to pay me the 20 he owes us. Or what? I go to the cops and hang him out to dry. You threatened him? You can't do that. He owes us 20, that was the deal. Dennis, when Jack Dalton makes you an offer, that's it. You don't bargain with him. <sighs> Mate, I'm sorry. Don't be. What have I got you into? I don't know. We just have to wait and see. What does Dalton want? It's a simple question, Andy. Okay then. Four o'clock. Here I am. What is it you want? To make you an offer. My money. Then I don't think we've got anything more to discuss. I'm offering more than money. You and me, Dennis, that's a lot of years. Because of that, 
I'm giving you the chance to reconsider. Last night, tempers were running high. Things could have got said that weren't really meant. So, I made you an offer in good faith. The question is, are you going to accept it? Or have we got a problem? Two grand. You and I know I don't even have to pay you that. You heard what I said last night. I meant it then, and I mean it now. Twenty's what you owe. You don't like it. And do what you have to. <laughs> you never could take anything lying down, Dennis, could you? I always said you had steel ones, and I was right. He's something else, isn't he? Oh, it's a privilege to know him. You stood your ground. And I respect that. You did your time without blabbing. I respect that too. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Ten grand. Twenty. Fifteen, and you're pushing it. Twenty. And this goes away for good? It's a job here. You won't reconsider? No. Don't let anyone say oh, I don't pay my debts. So, you take it, you go, finished, because it's you. I understand. You were always a good boy, Dennis. Go well. Be happy. Well, and that's it. Not quite. I've paid him. Now I'm afraid he has to pay me. Yep. Thanks for coming. Short notice and everything. Can I get you a drink? Oh, fine, thanks. You said you needed to talk to me. It's all rare. I don't believe it. Would I lie to you? 20 grand. How did you manage don't to Don't underestimate my charm. And your personality. Plus my powers of persuasion. Indeed, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Favours. You ever wondered how a whole bunch of people can be connected through favours? I help someone out. They help me out in turn. All sorts, all connected. For years sometimes. The favour just lying there, waiting to be returned. Then, one day, someone calls in their debt. And it's like dominoes. Bang, bang, bang. All the way down the line. Funny, isn't it? I can't say I'd ever really thought about it. Take the other day. Someone I used to know gets approached by a friend of his, says he owes him. So this fellow comes to me, and because he did me a favour in the past, he rings I owe him, which I take issue with. But this punk, he refuses to take no for an answer. So I have to take steps, make the problem go away. So why am I? Because you owe me a favor. <laughs> Listen, I want you to have some of this. Nah, you need it more than me. Yeah, that must be five grand. Put it away. Take it. Mate, without you I'd have enough. Please. No, not five grand. Just give us a grand, okay? <laughs> There's no serial number. It can't be traced. No. Yes. Tonight or tomorrow. 
then you come back here, tell me it's done, I'll be on my own. I don't kill people. Now you get someone else. I'm getting you. And I've made it nice and easy. What do you mean? He lives around your way. Maybe you know him. Why was it? Name's Dennis Rickman. See? Bang, bang, bang. All the way down the line. 